G'day guys, and welcome back to another episode, episode 12. Now, you would have seen last episode that we got the engine running, however, we didn't have the turbo hooked up, we didn't have the inlet manifold hooked up, and we certainly didn't have the exhaust hooked up. I was just dumping straight on the ground. However, recently I've just engaged a fabrication shop up here in Darwin called Armed Fab, and now Rob has done an absolute tremendous job with fabricating a whole heap of things for me. I really wanted to get a new exhaust, a new snorkel, and an airbox for the car, so he's done exactly just that. And I am absolutely wrapped with how things have come. I mean, check this out. Custom airbox with custom bent aluminium pipes and silicon hoses, just to finish things off. And, and that's just like minor sort of things in comparison to what else he's done. Um, so this episode, we'll get it all hooked up and then we potentially might be able to do a cheeky run around the block and see how things go. So, um, don't tell anyone that. Let's just get into it and see what we can make out of it. I think that's gonna go. Oh, going that the wrong way. There we go. It's that one over here. So next bit of the parcel is actually installing the snorkel. Now I've decided to go with the stainless steel three and a half inch and it is a very very tight fit with the scuttle panel and I've had to actually dremel and like cut out a good chunk of the, um, the scuttle panel from the side uh, in order to fit that snorkel and actually bring it in and through into the engine bay. So we're going to have to take out a little bit more, marked out just to take out a little bit more just so I've got a little bit more space so that I can actually wrap around a, um, a clamp around the silicon, uh, silicon hose. So yeah, I hate cutting things, especially when it's all been painted up and everything, but we're gonna have to do it. So let's get it done. All right, so you can see I've masked up over here where I need to make that cut and elongate it. I've also got to take a little bit this out as well just so I've got a little bit easy access. The hole at the top has been made. It's all good to go. So I guess the next thing to do is I thought I'd take the car out but I need some more light so in she goes.
So we've got the snorkel, which looks absolutely magnificent. And now you can see the bracket that we've got here. So we'll have to fit that on and then going to have to riv nut the snorkel onto the frame. And then have a look at how it kind of sits so I've just taped up the A-frame and also the window frame so that that bracket here doesn't actually scratch and damage the paintwork. And then, um, yeah, and then it will actually also allow me to put a pencil mark in there and then drill right through without tearing apart the paint. I can't believe it. Got pretty much a snorkel fitting nicely. However, look at this bloody scratch that I did when I was trying to cut that panel. It's all just slipped and ran up and bit along that panel. So, so frustrated with myself, but I think the only way to really fix this is by getting a really, really fine brush and actually putting some color in there and then putting some clear over the top of it. 
I mean, if you go looking for it, you're definitely going to see it, but most of the time, or for any for anyone who doesn't know it's there, which now all of you guys will know it's here, um, yeah, you're going to be able to see it, really. Bummer. Oh, well, alright. Well, at least the snorkel's in. Now, the only other thing I need to do is just push this in, find where it's happy and where that bracket sits, which looks about there and then put a couple of um, uh, riv nuts in there so I can take the snorkel in and out if I do want to. But overall, really nice clearance at the top there. And I'm super stoked that I actually put the roof rack on so we can get it all working really nicely before, before even going and getting the snorkel fitted. So there you have it, drilled out the four holes, put some stainless steel rivet nuts and now it's pretty much just a matter of lining it up, um, chucking some uh, bolts in and hopefully it lines up as, uh, as I previously intended it to.